What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all you guys are having an amazing day. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into the video real quick because I'm ready. I think it's like my new thing. I'm always just short on time. It's what it is. I'm going to get this out because it's already super late. I was supposed to get this out earlier, but I passed out. I had like a rough night. But anyways, um, before we get into this video, obviously I'm going to do a review on the shoulder bag, the Nike Supreme shoulder bag, because you, all you guys wanted it. So before I do that review, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, as well as giving this video a thumbs up if you get, end up enjoying it, or you find it informative, or it makes you go out and buy the bag. That being said, let's just jump straight into it. Okay guys, so here we have it, the Supreme Nike shoulder bag. Um, the retail on this was $45. Which I did not believe at first because that is actually like super, super low. I thought Drops by Jay got the price wrong because I've never seen a shoulder bag that cheap. Especially since they've been literally, especially since like lately they've just been raising the shoulder bag prices. And since it's a collab, I thought it'd be like even more expensive. But like the Nike stuff actually this week was like hella cheap. Well, when I say hella cheap, I mean cheap compared to like um, Supreme's like regular stuff. Not, I mean, it's super expensive if you, all you do is buy Nike, but for Supreme Wise, it was cheap. But anyways, let's take a look at it real quick. Let me bring it up so you guys get a close-up. All right, guys, so this is the Supreme Nike shoulder bag. All right, guys, you got the Supreme embroidered with the Nike checkmark swoosh, and then you got the Nike underneath, which is also embroidered, and then you got the green foil going around. Then we have two pockets up here. Let's open the first one all the way at the top. All right, guys, so we got the first pocket open at the top. It's really nothing major. It's, just, it's a super small pocket. It probably won't fit anything too crazy in there. And also, guys, on the hang tag on the zippers, there is actually a Nike swoosh on it as well. If you guys could like check that out. Anyway, so let's open the big pocket. All right, guys. So we open the big pocket. We're gonna see how big it is and like what can fit in there, guys. So right away, as soon as we open and see right away, we have the tag with the Nike uh, Supreme. So guys, see right away we got the tag with the Nike Supreme. So I don't know if you out there getting fixed or whatever. Um, let's see where was it made at. So. Alright, so guys, it is made in China. You guys can see all the data on it. So, you know, see if you guys can check that. Let me get a little close up. So, if you ever, like, you know, get in a fake, you know, make sure you, you know, make sure all the, the numbers, like, check out and all that. You guys want to look at the bottom tag real quick. Ah, sorry. Ah! Alright, check it out. Hold it still for a little bit. Anyway, so we're looking at the bag, which I'm surprised. That, you know, for, like, a lot of bags this season's been having the Supreme and Gloss inside, which this one does not. But, um, you know, I guess you check it out. It's a pretty big pocket. Um, is this smaller? What is the, the, the capacity on this? Like, I don't know how much uh, liters this holds, so I can't tell you, like, if this is, like, big or small compared to, like... I mean, obviously, this is smaller than this season's uh, shoulder bag, I believe. Um, but also the shape is kind of different as well, so that you could take into account that but yeah It's a huge pocket you can fit a ton of stuff in there I guess don't take me on that because I don't know the leaderage if you guys know the leader capacity on this bag Definitely let me know in the comments down below and then we flip it around we have another pocket at the back So let's unzip this and see what we got. Okay, I guess we got another pocket at the back and it's pretty decent size um, I think it's definitely bigger than the one on top, but you know who, who knows I could be wrong um, you know guys they suck at telling size <laughs> JK, JK. All right, guys. So now let's take a look at the strap on the on the buckle. You have the Nike swoosh mark as well. So let's unbuckle it and just like try this thing on. But first, we have to adjust it. So I mean, it's hopefully it fits, right? One thing I can say about this bag right away, it is a lot easier to adjust this than it is the regular Supreme bags. Because honestly, the regular Supreme bags give me hell to adjust them. Or maybe I'm just maybe I'm just retarded. But uh, uh, never mind. You're not supposed to say the R word. Maybe I'm just dumb. Okay, so I just finished adjusting it. I mean, I, I didn't go to the max. I went to the semi-max, but let's throw it on to see like how it, like how it's gonna fit. So obviously we put the straps in. No one's gonna put it on me, so we put the strap on. Actually, I could, it's actually pretty tight, so I could actually make it a little bit, a little bit more loose because it's actually pretty tight. So let's, let's adjust this one more time. All right. Now, like I said, you put the strap on first so you can see what you're doing. Okay, let me make sure this is correct. All right, you buckle it. And then if it's too loose, you can always like retighten it from like right here, so it's not a problem, but this one should be fine. It's not too tight and it's not too loose. It's just like really like natural. So yeah, guys, this is how, this, I mean, this is how I would rock it. If I was gonna wear it, you can rock it any way you want. But yeah, this is the arm body for you guys to check out right there, you know. No flex in it. Oh, let me actually zip it up. So yeah, let me get a close up. So yeah, this is like what it looked like on body. You know, Supreme Nike swoosh swoosh. You know, you got the mag, got the matching hoodie with it. Uh, but yeah, that's how it's looking, guys. 
All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for my review. If you guys want to know anything else, just feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer you. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up, as well as hitting that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. But other than that, don't let them hate, just keep it down. Stay positive. It's easy to hate, hard to love. Peace.